Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. I know I have taken some time off for two or three months from painting and from YouTube, but I'm ready to get started again for 2021. And my goal right now is to do two new painting videos per week. I don't have my days of the week set yet. I know last year I did Tuesday and Thursday for those. I'd like to shoot for that but I've gotten a late start today, so I don't know if they'll end up varying on which days, but there should be two new painting videos every week. And I'll let you know later as I go if I get set days or not. I'll try to do the Tuesday, Thursday. It could end up being Wednesday, Friday, or different days, but I'll let you know. I Right now, I'm just setting up my camera to make sure it's in the right place. I took time off last year, at the end of last year, because I just got a little bit burnt out. I was doing four videos a week, and I was doing necklaces, which I still intend to do necklaces. I was doing, um, I was doing my varnishing my paintings on the other three days, or I was recording videos some days, and then publishing, editing and publishing the other days. Just got to be too much, and my old phone gave me a lot of trouble. So I have a new phone now, and I've done one video with my new phone, but I'm going to get started with some more. I'll show you the colors as I go. I, I have this Amazon box that I'm using because I need to use this spin table, and my normal box that I paint in is too big for this little table. So hopefully this will work and keep paint from spraying all over everything else in the room. And I have a new split cup that I ordered from Etsy. I will put a link in the description below to the seller where I purchased this. For now, I purchased this three channel one and a four channel one. And I purchased one that's like a little flower shape. So I will try to do a video with each of these soon. I got some new paints at Walmart actually in the craft paint section. Today I have three color shift colors that I want to use and I got some different glitter paints and I got some enamel paints. I'm not sure if they're the same as the satin enamel paints that people use or not, but I will try a couple of them in a flip cup maybe sometime soon and see how they work out as well. And that's all for the beginning of this. I'm going to pause and restart whenever I get everything situated and I will start putting my colors in my split cup and try to do some kind of a ring pour. I'm really bad at ring pours, but I have a request for a ring pour and I'm hoping that I can do it a little bit better, maybe with my spin table. If I don't like it that way, I'll go back to tilting on my own because mine don't end up looking like the perfect ring pour that most people get. Mine are all wonky and sometimes I kind of like the abstract look to the wonkiness from the way I tilt them the wrong way. So we'll just see what happens, but I just want to try my split cup today and I will be back in just a second. Hi guys, I'm back and I'm going to just go ahead and get started. I don't have a base coat down yet. I normally use a like a white base coat, sometimes black, but right now I'm going to try not using one. I'm just going to put a little bit, this channel is very big and this is an 8 by 8 canvas. So I'm going to end up with more paint than what I need. So I think it'll be, I have a different idea for what I'm going to do instead of a base coat. That is dioxazine purple, and I'm going to put a little bit of light blue in the center. And some neon pink in the outside. It looks like I don't have as much. No, the outside channel looks bigger, maybe? Neon pink in the outside. Let me stand up so I can see. 
it still looks like I don't have as much dioxazine purple. So we'll add some more of that. Okay, and I didn't actually mean to use that much in my first layer because I have these um, color shift paints that I want to wanted to do first, but I don't want them stuck in the channel. But this one is Blue Violet Flash. And then I have Blue Flash. I still should have done these first, I guess. Blue Flash. And then I have this pink one that is called Orchid Flash. Sorry, I'm getting in the way. This one is Orchid Flash. And I really, I intended to do, at first I was gonna do the color shift paints first, so they would come out last and be on top. But then I didn't want them on the bottom because I didn't want them sticking, so I put them in second. But I think what I'll do is put just a little bit more of my regular colors on top. So those color shifts will be kind of in the center of the colors. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's just my first attempt at my split cup so I can always do it differently the next time it's just an experimental phase neon pink back on top and I'm kind of hoping that as it comes out they kind of mix together but I don't know so I'll move these out of the way and normally, like I said, I do a white base coat, but I'm going to have more paint than what I need. So at first, I'm not going to do a base coat. I'm going to pour these out, and then I'll put a little bit of white around if I need some more paint around to help it spread. So normally I sit whenever I do this, but I'm today I'm going to stand because the box is a little bit taller. It makes it a little bit taller than what I'm used to. So I'm just going to slowly try to do a ring pour in the center, which I'm not the best at, but I'm hoping that this split cup will help me improve on. And I'm hoping that the spin table helps with that too. I don't think I'm in the center and I'm wiggling around because I'm not in the center. And my table's not level, I forgot about that. Should have leveled out my box. Whoops, and then my hands are jerky. So we get some of those jerky cells. And then I don't do that very well either. I just stink at this. So find somewhere to put this. Wipe off my hands. That is an issue. Not having a level table is an issue. Let me see if I can find something to put under. Um, here. Does that help? I don't know. I don't, I have these squiggles. Let me find a skewer. Let's see if I can fix those squiggles. I'm definitely not having the best of luck, and that's why, oh my goodness, that's stuck in there. That's why this is experimental, because I just have to try some different things and see what happens. Those colors are really pretty, though. 
So let me see what I can do with these drips that I had. You know what? Accidents happen and I'll just leave the drips and see what they do whenever I spin. And I don't think I need white around to help that. I have too much paint anyway. So I'm just going to spin and see what happens. Oh, wait. I want to, just in case there are any bubbles. Yep. There were some bubbles. All right. I'll just spin and see what happens. box worked perfectly that's one thing I don't know if I can make it stop spinning or not I'm losing a lot of that purple that I wanted on there so let's see if I can tilt this this way at all you know what I wonder if I spin some more, if I can spin those mistakes off. And then I'll have more of this pink over here, but let's just see what happens. Just try to spin the mistakes off. And it's not centered or anything. I think I did spin some of the mistakes off or stretched them out. That's interesting. Um, I've covered everything. I don't know that I like it though. Um, I kind of really wanted more. I wanted this more centered and I wanted more purple, more of the dioxazine purple. Um, I'm tempted. I know I used a lot of paint. I used way more than I needed because that cup is really big. I mean, the channels in the cup are really big. I'm not sure that I like it very well. I like the colors and the color shift in there. This is interesting where I messed up there towards the end. I wonder what colors I can bring out if I spin it one more time. I lost so much of that purple that I wanted. Um, let's spin it again and see what happens. Not a lot's happening now because the paint has leveled out the way that it should be. So, um, I think it goes like that. But I don't really like it very well. I'm tempted to pour over it. But what I think I'll do is keep it and wait and see what I think when it dries. Because sometimes I don't like something at first and then after it dries I like it better. It's interesting the the way the dark next to the light colors um, like the dark purple next to the pink or next to the light blue especially it shows like a 3D look but that is not at all like the result is not at all what I wanted so I'm going to just, I'm just going to keep it and let it dry and see what I think of it when it dries. 
but I think I'm going to move it because I have all of this extra paint here and I like to use that extra paint for I dip pieces to make necklaces out of or I wait for it to dry and I use it for necklaces but what I think I'm going to do right now is scrape it together and dip some card stock and then cut these down to glue onto some plain white cards and make greeting cards out of. So I need to find somewhere to move the canvas to that I can let it sit and dry without messing it up as I move it. But that's it for this one. I don't really like it. It didn't come out how I expected. I like the colors. I think that the color shift will look nice nicer when they dry um but I'll let it dry and see what I think you can always paint over it if you really really don't like it when it's done but um I've never done that before I just keep them and eventually they usually grow on me so let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks as always for watching Please like, subscribe, and share my videos with anyone who you think may be interested. And have a blessed day. Bye!